So let's try this quiz. In the first question, we recognize these numbers. We've seen them before. However, last time I showed you this data, I asked you for the mean age. This time I'm asking you for the median age. Should they be different? Well, remember, they will be different if this distribution is uh, skewed. So, kind of looks like that is the case, doesn't it? Um, so, what we're going to do is calculate the median using the rule we know, where the position of the median will be at the n plus 1 over 2 observation. How many observations are there in total? Remember, we calculated our n as 6, 6, 7. So if we were to calculate now the n plus 1 divided by 2 observation, that would be 668 divided by 2, or 334th observation. Now where is that? Here's 14 in the next category. We have 120, that brings us to cumulative, cumulative 134. And then we get here, and we're at the 334th observation would be in this component, or this group. So that means that the 20th, uh, sorry, the 334th observation would have age 20. So the answer is it must be. 20. If you're feeling uneasy about this problem, remember the data is in order. It's been sorted out and what you really have is a 14 18s followed by 120 19s followed by 220s, etc. So we're just counting through and arriving at the 334th observation right here, age 20. Question 2. Here's a frequency histogram. In this frequency histogram, we know that there were 10 observations. There's one in here, four in here, one in here, and three in here and one in here for a total of 10. We want to find the mean of this histogram. Two ways to do this. Graphically, where would your finger balance this distribution? Wouldn't it be somewhere around here? I think so. So automatically, just from that analysis, I would tend to think the answer is C. Okay, so that's graphically how I would come up with answer C, which is the correct answer. A second way to try this is numerically thinking about the weighted mean. Why? Because I don't have the actual numbers, but the best guess or the best um, number to attribute to the observation in here, the best one would be at the midpoint. So the midpoint would be right here, not there. Seventy two point five and the midpoint in this bar would be the best representation of these four observations and that would be at 77.5 and so on. Using those as the, way, uh, as the score for your weighted mean and these values as the frequency you could calculate the weighted mean and in fact if you do that you will end up with the value 82.5 so try that and you will
prove to yourself that the answer is C.